and then as soon as you flip this switch now it's locked in place and in a moment here this light will turn green there we go we're charging we're timing let's see what speeds we're getting there we go All right, so as many of you may have seen yesterday, I demonstrated for you an EV Jet, a very well-made, possibly life-saving device for Tesla owners. And as I did mention, they do have a CCS model coming in about September or October that'll do the exact same thing that you saw in my video yesterday. And also, as I mentioned, they sent me a specific one for my 2018 Tesla Model 3. So the one I was using only works with a 2017 or 2018 Model 3. The other EV Jet, it is designed to work with all years of the Cybertruck, all years of the Tesla Model Model Y and for 2022 and later Model S and X. They do have one coming for the uh, years before 2022 for the Tesla Model X and Model S. But one thing that I knew people would ask is, is putting this little thing in between my supercharger going to make a difference? So I wanted to try that and I wanted to try it with the best chargers. So I have a 2018 Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive, which means my Tesla Model 3 actually supports a full 250 kilowatts of fast charging. You may know the uh, later model rear wheel drives, they cut that down to like 180 or something. I think that's insane, but that's just me. So I'm going to a version four Tesla supercharger here in Atlanta so that I can show you the charging speeds. I'm gonna try to show up with about 10% of charge or so. We're gonna plug this in and we're gonna start our charging session and see how long it takes us to get to get from 10 to 80% with this plugged in. So this will be sitting, this part will be plugged into my Tesla. This will be where the supercharger plugs in and this will be in between. So I can show you that there's no difference. I haven't made the video yet, but I'm 99% certain this is just a pass through. It is going to be the exact same 250 kilowatts that I'm used to. And I would say I'll probably be out of there in 20 to 25 minutes, which is pretty normal for a version three or version four with my Tesla Model 3. If you're interested in an EV Jack, I of course have a link down below in my description where you can buy one of these and get 25% off the purchase price of an EV Jack. Thanks again to EV Jack for sending these to me. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And let's check out the charging speeds of a Tesla Model 3 on a version 4 supercharger with the EV Jet. And with all of my stickers on my overhead rig here for recording, I had to add my EV Jet sticker. So right here next to blenders, we're gonna put we're gonna put EV Jet on the table permanently. Nicely done. All right, so we are heading out here to East Point, uh, right by the Atlanta airport to the version four superchargers. So that way we can see exactly how fast the speed is with the EV jet. So let's roll. And looks like we'll arrive there on 9%, which will be perfect for supercharging. I have to get a bar watch first. So after a little fast driving, now we're gonna get there at 5%, which is even better. Granted, we'll hit some traffic up here on Thorn Road, so it might go back to seven or eight, but we'll see. And we're off. Good old Lowe's here. Of course, someone's using the pull-through charger who does not need to be. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take the very last spot down here. These already look pretty beat up. They've only been here like six months. All right, so first, take your Tesla supercharger, your EV Jet adapter, mm. and it just slides right on. Then, of course, just like normal. Why do the buttons not work here? That happened last time. So, open it up, plug it in, and then to actually get it to start charging, you gotta flip this up. Now it should be charging. So hit your timer. Of course there's a loud car. We're actively charging. So let's get back in and put that to 100. I didn't realize I only had it on 50. Right now, we're only getting 57 kilowatt hours. That is not fast. So I'm gonna leave this here for like a minute or two before I end up switching chargers because my guess is this charger is derated for some reason and only pulling 57 kilowatt hours. Yeah, I'm pretty certain this one's derated. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop charging. Try the little click. Now you just pull the whole thing out and then this just slides off. 
Okay, so we're gonna try it on this one. And uh, same as before, take your charger, plug it in, click your button. Hey, it opened for us on this one. Plug into your Tesla. And then as soon as you flip this switch, now it's locked in place. And in a moment here, this light will turn to green. There we go, we're charging, we're timing. Let's see what speeds we're getting. There we go, 253 kilowatts. That's exactly what we should be seeing. We went up to 10% on the other charger, but we're gonna let this charge now. We're at, we're at 31 seconds. Let's, uh, let's see when we dip below like 225 or something like that and uh, just see how our charging session is. Now, I did put it to 100, that's just my own personal preference. I'm gonna stop it at 80%, trying to see how quick we can go from now essentially 10 to 80%, or if you were using this on a road trip or something like that. We'll be back uh, whenever the charging curve kind of starts dropping. Fans are kicking on, we're fluctuating right around 251. I've seen 253, now we're up to 254, so it's, moving around a little bit but my fans have kicked on battery cooling is in let's actually uh just for the heck of it check out service mode high voltage battery there we go look at that 632 amps i can say we're down to 240 kilowatts already and it's only been two and a half minutes and we're at 23 percent but we'll leave this here let's see what happens in another few minutes so we're almost five minutes in, four minutes, 50 seconds. We are down to 190 kilowatts. Don't know if that's a charger. Don't know if it has anything to do with the adapter, but this is the charging speed we're currently seeing. In that five minutes though, we've added 25%. So, I mean, that's really not bad at the end of the day, so. Now we're 155 kilowatts, so 395 amps. We're at almost seven and a half minutes. And at seven and a half, just broke 149. So we're at 17 and a half minutes. We are down to 81, 80 kilowatts. And uh, over here down to right at 200 amps, but we're up to 72%. So we've added 62% in 17 minutes, almost 18 minutes. Might as well say we've added 63% in 18 minutes. Still amazing charging. So I'm gonna exit out of service mode so that I'm ready to stop this uh, at exactly 80%, which should be here and I'd say three-ish minutes probably. At 20 minutes of setting at this version four supercharger, we're at 76%. So we added 66% in 20 minutes. That is uh, pretty darn amazing and would be more than enough time to run to the restroom and lose, come back out. It does not take that long to charge an EV like people think. So maybe another minute or two here and we should hit 80%. All right, we're down to 58 kilowatts. We've been here for 21, almost 22 minutes, and we're at 79%. Essentially, it takes 22 minutes to charge this car to 80% on a road trip. Battery almost full. Did cross the 22 minute mark. Let's see what we get. 22 minutes and 20 seconds is my guess. Nope, I was wrong. 22 minutes and 30 seconds. It does slow down a lot once it gets to 80%. There it is. So almost 22 minutes and 30 seconds. Sweet. <laughs> all right, so we have road tripped this car a lot from here all the way to New York, from here all the way to Miami, from here to New Orleans three times. Yeah. And it's always been right around 20 minutes. I mean, I know going to Orlando the last time we stopped at Bucky's, and by the time we went in, used the restroom, came back out, it was ready to go. So I would say that I see zero difference in using the EV Jacked on your vehicle uh, to supercharge it. It did not seem to change the charging rate whatsoever or the charging time. 23 minutes is just normal. So if you would like an EV Jacked, I have a link down below that'll save you 25% using code BigCVlogs. Thanks again to EV Jacked, who was nice enough to send this to me. And that'll do it for this video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Bye.